Hello and welcome back to the Colorful Foodie channel. My name's Anna and today we're going to make a soup in the slow cooker. Some people call it a crock pot, but the truth is it's a slow cooking pot that allows your food to simmer over a long period of time, allowing all the flavors to marry well together. And you end up with something delicious at the end of the day. Well, today we're going to make a healthier version of the broccoli cheese soup, which I adore. So I'm adding one tablespoon of olive oil to one tablespoon of garlic and one onion chopped. This is set to high on the crock pot. You can also do this over a regular pot, of course. On I'll high. let that sit there while I get the other ingredients together. This is my cheddar and this is parmesan. And of course, that's 2% cheddar. Everything is going to be light and healthier. Too much glare, sorry. So I'm going to use a head and a half of broccoli and half of a head of cauliflower and four ounces of light cream cheese. Four to six cups of chicken broth and one cup of evaporated milk. Two percent. So we're chopping half of a head of cauliflower right there. If you didn't wash it before, make sure you wash it before you add it to the crock pot. Nice and chopped. Coarsely chopped. Nice and sauteed, smells absolutely wonderful. And then we're gonna add the cauliflower. This is gonna be kind of our cheese, some of it. Or our cheese helper. Cauliflower is often used as a substitute for a lot of cheeses. We're going to just augment. Same thing, wash thoroughly and cut ch and chop coarsely. And this is our next addition, which is the one and a half heads of broccoli. It's a lot. It's going to be a hefty soup. And mix it all together to incorporate with the garlic and the onions that I sauteed with earlier. Add the evaporated milk. This is completely optional for you. If you want it dairy-based, this is a good way to do it. If not, stick with the broth, which I'm going to add four to six cups of chicken or vegetable broth. You, it's your choice. Need this to cook it through so it can soak up all the flavor and be a delicious soup that we want it to be in about four to five hours. Season with salt, with pepper, with a little bit of onion or garlic powder, whatever it is that you enjoy. Mix it up. I see the cheeses over there and I didn't forget about them, but for now, we're just going to let it simmer here for a couple of hours. My total cooking time for the soup I'm predicting will be four and a half hours, but I'm going to come back and revisit in two hours. On high. Back to our soup, which is smelling amazing, and I'm going to add the four ounces of light cream cheese to it. And by the way, you can add as much or as little of any cheese that you like. You can omit the cauliflower. This is These are simply ways of making the soup a little lighter, less fattening, and still with great flavor. If you don't have a lot of time, it's okay to add all the ingredients at once. But since I'm home, I'm adding them in steps. I'm going to add my handy dandy hand blender to shred a little bit of this broccoli and cauliflower situation. You can also just transfer the soup to the blender, but I just, I want it chunky, so I'm only doing it ever so slightly. Add the low fat cheddar to the mix, which is going to be a little foamy after the blender action, which is completely okay followed by the quarter of a cup to half a cup of shredded parmesan. And you'll see that it's taking soup form and it's a little chunky. There's little pieces of broccoli. You can also blend it till it's completely smooth, but that's how I like it. I'm going to let it sit for about two more hours for a total of four and a half hours, more or less. You can definitely leave it in more, but it'll give us at least six servings. All right. It looks like our broccoli and cheddar soup is all done. Time to enjoy. Taste test. So good! I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if so, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel as well as to ColorfulFoodie.com. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and keep it colorful.